my grandfather was a fisherman, my dad a fisherman, so it's in the blood, you know. Yeah. I love doing it. It's way better than working for someone. You got no boss to watch over you, you know, tell you what to do, you know. You know, I have a passion for it. Whether I catch a fish or not, I just love, love the ocean. From ever since I know myself. From when I was a little kid, I used to build a little um, boat gun. You know, my dad gave me a mask and stuff like that. So I used to jump off in the shallow, shoot the little um, shots and little jacks and stuff, snapper. Then I just take my little time in the reef. Then from the reef to the high rock, get deeper and deeper. You know, over time I developed that technique for diving. You know. Sometimes I get, I get a good catch. Sometimes three, four barracudas, red snapper, lobster. It's a long day work, but I can provide for my family. Everybody kind of um, try to catch some lionfish nowadays. You have some guys from the marine park tell us about it and how dangerous they are. Them, the lion fish just start taking over the whole bottom, you know. You don't see much fish on the ground anymore, you know. When we go to sea, the guys always carry scissors, so we just cut the spines off. The lion fish juked me a few times already. That pin lasts long and it's moved fast. As soon as it hit you, you start to feel the whole body. You feel it in your heart, man. But I'm a, like a suicide diver. You find a nice piece of reef, and when you go out here, you see a whole bunch of lion fish. They're about to the reef. So, we have to get rid of them. So if you can make a little money out of them, stay away. Well, that's good. <laughs> you know. You know what this is? This one is the notorious lionfish. On the island here, since the public has been educated how to utilize these fish, a lot of the fishermen here are catching them, and we have started using lionfish a whole lot in our um, cuisine. We've got a big boy here, lionfish. Uh, it's a really nice, fleshy, uh, great flavored fish. The only downside is there's some spines on it that has some venom, so you have to be very careful, really. But once you have a dress or clean the fish, you're ready to go. It's basically safe after that. Yeah, I, I think once we promote it more and we get it out there in the restaurant, we would be able to sustain it. Jerk lionfish bruschetta. And we're going to serve that with some fresh papaya chutney. Lime juice, vinegar, salt and pepper, some ginger, onion, garlic, and of course some fresh papaya. You wake up this morning, you better give thanks. You don't know if you're gonna live to see tomorrow. Life is much more precious than gold. The lionfish, it's very tasty. You cut up a little carrot, you know, sweet pepper, onion, and stuff like that. A little piece of butter, some garlic, and a little piece of hot pepper. You just put it in a little water, put it on the cover and make it a simmer. And you're good to go, probably a little bit of coconut powder to give it that, that flavor, that creamy sauce. <laughs> you guys making me hungry. <laughs> I always know that I'm going to make a living out of the ocean because it's something that I have passion for, I love it. I get trapped up by Barracuda, I get blocked out a few times. It's a long day work, but I still rather doing it than working for some guys. You know, self-reliance, you know? It's just me now and the Almighty, you know?